Good evening, it's five o'clock and here is a live look in Florida right now. In less than eight hours, Hurricane Milton is expected to make landfall there. And it could become one of the most destructive hurricanes on record. You're taking a live look right now at a dock in St. Pete. There you can see the rain is following and you can see the force of the wind on those palm trees there and the boats as well. Plus the waves just keep getting stronger and stronger in that area. The latest from the National Weather Service now is warning people that are there to shelter in place. Just hours ago, the people who live in the area were told there just wasn't much time left for them to get out of harm's way. Emergency management workers were telling them to get to an evacuation center or go to a friend's house outside an evacuation zone and some people listened. This drone video shows a steady stream of cars heading out of harm's way on I-75 in Clear County. That's where you find Naples. You can also see huge dark clouds moving in the area from this video too. A lot of people are issuing warnings about the storm with the FEMA director being one of them now saying this hurricane quote just looks different. That sounds kind of ominous there. Now, as we said earlier, there are people there that have made the decision that they're not going to leave. They're going to stay for a variety of reasons. Our Samantha Johnson actually spoke to a Speedway family who chose to ride out the storm port in Port Charlotte. Let's get to Sam. Yeah, that's right. Mary Bewley and her husband, they've lived down in Florida for more than two decades now. She says she's been through several hurricanes but she told me this one feels different. Right now, she is hunkered down with five other Hoosiers waiting to weather this storm. Tonight, between Sarasota and Fort Myers, Port Charlotte is already seeing the wind and the rain. You know, you can see in the pool, we got a little bit of rain coming in. But the Buleys are in good spirits. We're just as good as we can be. We got um, all of our storm shutters up. We have totally hunkered down. With the generator gassed up and plenty of food on hand. Get your snacky stuff, your drinks, plenty of water. Mary Bewley and her family say it's too late to leave now. Probably three days ago we should have left, four days ago, yeah. roughly. Yeah. yeah. And with resources running thin. In this area where we are, all the gas stations are done. There's no gas. They decided to stay. This home's pretty solid and we're up high enough and inland enough, we're, we're pretty safe. We're, we feel we're pretty safe, but you know, that can all change. Bewley's home is up to current hurricane code, but it's also in an evacuation zone. We will lose internet service. We will lose power. I think we're gonna, we're gonna be okay, but it's gonna get scary. All this less than two weeks after Hurricane Helene. That's the concern. These grounds can't take much more rain. Hurricane Milton expected to dump as much as 18 inches of rain in some parts of the state, prompting mandatory evacuation orders for more than 7 million people. Some of those people thankful to be with the folks who matter most. Right. Yep. As they watch and wait for Milton. Yeah, we are thinking about all those folks down there in Central Florida tonight. For those of us here at home, she asks us, she says, please remember to give family members in Florida a little patience when you're trying to contact them, right? You heard her say they're going to lose power. They're going to lose cell service. It might take some time before you hear from them, as scary as that sounds. In the meantime, she is asking from all of us, in her words, to send positive vibes of protection and for all of us to say our prayers about our friends down in Florida. Absolutely. Tonight. I mean, it could be days. We just could don't be. know. So we're thinking about them for sure. Well, you were just down there last week and there was still so much of a mess. Even they're not starting at, at a good spot. Right. For leftover yeah. from Helene. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And also noting there are a lot of people that can't leave. So, yeah. right. all right. Thank you so much, Sam. And we want to take a closer look at the conditions along the Gulf Coast tonight. The Weather Channel's meteorologist Felicia Combs shares what it looks like near Fort Myers right now. In recent memory for this area around Fort Myers, we have Helene that just happened, of course, a couple weeks ago, bringing feet of storm surge. And then also a couple years ago, we had Ian. Now, where I'm standing right here, this exact spot was covered in five feet of storm surge with Ian. That would be up to, you know, at least my chin. We are off San Carlos Bay. You can see that off to the west here. And beyond San Carlos Bay from around the Fort Myers area is Sanibel Island, is Captiva as well. Those places under 
their mandatory evacuation orders as the forecast for storm surge around this region could get up to 12 feet. Storm surge is a huge concern, but also hurricane force winds are possible and a tornado watch that is in place until 9 p.m. this evening. We've already seen multiple tornadoes across Florida with these rain bands. Felicia Combs in Fort Myers, the Weather Channel. So we are hearing that the storm is weakening, but we got to be careful when we say that word. Well, look, you know, and we, we said this the other day when it was at this, you know, maximum category five, we knew that was not how it was going to make landfall. Mm -hmm. Everything pretty much is on target um, And a category three hurricane is still going to do a lot of destruction here. So please know that uh, 120 mile per hour wind right now that is going to produce devastating damage to certain areas and the, again, the eyes offshore, um, but look at all the action that's taken place. Those are tornado reports. Many of them confirmed the northeast movement at 17, at least in the last few frames of radar here, has slowed down a little bit and it's almost taken more of an easterly turn here. And we're thinking right now between Bradenton and Sarasota where it actually makes landfall. That would take Tampa out of the worst surge. That doesn't mean it's going to be great here. This is going to be the highest surge zone, Sarasota, uh, Venice, Charlotte Harbor, down to Fort Myers will have the most destructive highest surge. Uh, now six to nine feet expected in Tampa and nine to 13. That's the flooding from the surge. We'll talk more about the wind impacts ahead in the forecast. All right, thank you so yeah. much, Sean. So scary and right now, our Tegna sister station that's located in Tampa is covering Hurricane Milton's landfall wall to wall coverage 24 seven. If you would like to watch that, you can do so right now on WTHR plus. It's free on Roku, Amazon Fire and Apple TV. Just open the app and then you'll find it on the opening page.